Welcome insiders to Film Inside, I'm your host Eric. So on my Canon T3i, I installed Magic Lantern. Magic Lantern is a software hack for Canon DSLRs. I made a video going over Magic Lantern and well, how to install it. But today we'll be taking a look at a feature within Magic Lantern called Rack Focus. So as I said, I have Magic Lantern on my Canon T3i. This is a firmware hack that unlocks my camera to do more things. Whether it be more control over ISO, or have better image quality, or even have some fancy features like, well, rack focus. Now if you don't know, rack focus basically is your lens is gonna be shifting the focal length, but you're not gonna be touching the lens. It's gonna all do it automatically. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first, you're obviously going to need to have a Canon DSLR with Magic Lantern. If you want to know how to install Magic Lantern on your Canon DSLR, check the link down below. I obviously made a video for it. Anyway though, saying that you have Magic Lantern on your camera, let's go outside. Or well, that's where I'm going to go. So here is my camera outside. I'm going to make a video on this pathway. So first what I want to do, I'm going to focus the lens on this pathway because that's where I want the end point to be. And once I focus it, now we're gonna go into the menu system and I'm gonna find rack focus. Once I find it, I wanna click on the rack focus endpoint and when I click on it, then it's gonna set the endpoint. So whatever your focal length on your lens is at the moment will be your endpoint. But now we need to have another point selected to focus on. So my end point is set, but now I'm gonna move the camera just a bit. I'm gonna now focus on this flower, which is a lot closer to my lens. Now I'm not gonna move the lens ring. I'm not gonna click the shutter button halfway to make it focus. I'm gonna use the arrow keys on the side of the screen so then I can focus that way. Once I focus on the flower how I want it to be, I'm gonna click the set button and then the rack focus points are all set up. Now that we have our points selected, now we can just set up a timer my timer is gonna be six seconds and then we're all done now we can use rack focus so go out of the menus entirely and click record on your video now the video is recording go back to the menu using the trash can button and click on rack focus yet again this will activate the timer and once the timer has gone all the way down the camera will well rack focus it'll focus on whatever point it's not on so if I'm at my nearest subject it'll focus onto the back if I'm on my end point which is well the back or background then it'll focus back onto the foreground. So anyway guys, that is how you rack focus. Hope you found this video interesting and usable. The reason I make it is because, well, I had trouble figuring out how to rack focus. I watched a few videos, but I had some issues with some videos. So decided to make my own, hoping I would help you guys if you have Magic Lantern. If you want to see anything else about Magic Lantern, any more tests with it, any other features you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway guys, my name's Eric, this is Tech Inside, and I'm signing out. Thank you